Hey guys, just got asked a quick question about how to add windows. I'm just going to go and grab my wall tool, choose my wall tool, and I'll draw in several different wall types. So let's just go quickly here, here, just go in an angle, right? And I'll choose a different wall type just so you can see how to do this in multiple walls. Um, so I'll choose a wainscot. Right, so we've got wall types. So essentially, if I right click on a wall, I can scroll down to windows and doors and say add a window or a door. And basically the process is the same. You'll notice that it made the wall clear so we can see what's going on behind. Now the first thing to do is to choose what style of window you want to use. So I'm gonna start with the square one and maybe a double hung window. You can change the window numbers and labels and everything down here, but here's how to add a window. Okay, now you can type in the measurements. You'll notice down here we have uh, measurements in here. So if I sort of said, I want to type one meter uh, and enter, it starts at one meter. And if I said it was going to be, and same with feet and inches, just type in whatever it is you want to do. Okay, the same also applies in different wall types it's going to cut them in different ways let's start with this long wall here so you can also select the wall so spacebar select and go to window and you can choose whether you want to move a window update an existing window or draw a window so the first icon there is draw a window and then you would go through select the position and the, the type so I'm going to choose an arch window in this particular instance you can type in the height of the window. I'm just going to just quickly just draw one in here so you can see what happens. Uh, and we might choose a, an angle top window, gate window, and we'll go back to square and we'll use I don't know, different types of windows. And it's very quick and easy. And you'll also notice that it's actually editing the framework behind the scenes and cutting through and putting trim. So if I just quickly just create some scenes here, uh, what it will do is going to turn everything on so we can have a bit of a look, right? So now you can see that I've got trim around the window. I have sills and all of this can be adjusted inside of the window tool. If you actually wanted to draw a window in multiple walls at the same time, so let's just say I go right clicking. Uh, I'll actually add a door here because it's very similar. The difference between doors uh, is that you can choose the type of door from a drop down. So essentially, if I'm going to use internal doors or external doors or you know maybe doors for a garage, what it does is it filters all the different types of doors. So I'm going to say external doors and I'm going to choose if you hover over here you can see that it says it's a bifold door all of the names are in there because I have this little mouse icon up it's a little bit hard to read anyway I'm going to go through and I'm going to put in a bifold door here and I might put in I don't know this type of door here you can change the heights the widths the numbers uh, and if I wanted to put in say annotation text so text position elevation and I'm going to call this door number two you can see that I have doors now if I don't want to actually get out of the tool if I push shift and I hover over another wall what it's going to do is reopen so I can draw anywhere inside of the model uh, on any plus big wall right now all the doors and windows are parametric as well. You can see that I should have changed it from door two to door three. Uh, so essentially we can open them and close them, but we can also edit them. So if I just go back up to my window tool here and I might've made a mistake. I might want to change the door type or the door size. I'm going to change the door size first. So when I click that, you notice that it's changing everything blue. So I might say, well, you know what? I want to edit this door. And if I click on the left-hand side, you'll notice that the top 
and bottom there have gone red and if I choose how far I want to move the door I can type it in so for instance I might say I want to make this the distance from here to here I don't know uh, let's say 250 right and it moves the door accordingly so it's probably one of the most powerful window and door tools I've seen it is cutting through multiple layers of walls it's putting trim in uh, and if I went to say structure off the wall tool is also putting in trim as well if you choose that when you're drawing your walls I hope that helps out guys cheers